we had so many surprises this month, it was a little out of control. Seriously out of control. Hola, soy Wendy Valencia. I'm just kidding, I wouldn't do this in Spanish. Although I am a fluent Spanish speaker, I very much sound like a blonde girl from California speaking Spanish. So today is the day we go over last month's budget and tell you how it all went down. And as a warning, we had a lot of surprises and most of them had to do with Melina. Having a kid is expensive. We also had to make some pretty hard financial choices this month, one of which involved choosing making a short-term financial goal over saving more than $1,000. So let's jump on in. In our utilities category, we had our same mobile phone and our same storage unit that we always have. And you know, linky eye thing if you don't know why we have a storage unit. In transportation, we paid $33.88 for gas this month and $70 for the Easy Pass. And I don't know if you remember, but we had taken the Easy Pass out this month and it came through as a surprise. So from now on, the Easy Pass will stay in the budget every month, no matter what. And if at the end of the month we don't use it, whoop, we got $70 to go to debt. So in the Molina category, let's go on over this one. It's gonna be ugly, but in a kind of good way. We paid $590 for her before and after care, like we always do. And we paid $40 for school bucks and and we paid a total of $21 for miscellaneous school expenses. And that was an event at the school that cost $7 a person and Mauricio Molina and I all attended. All of the Valentine's Day items were covered in my Amazon haul last week. So I will link that video up in the eye in the sky if you'd like to check that out. So here is where it got expensive this month. This is our first year with Melina in public school. Previously, Melina had been in a private preschool. And so we just continued throughout the summer to send Melina to the private preschool. The prices for that were pretty much consistent all year long from January through December every month was pretty much more or less the same price. This is Melina's first year in public school and while we've been paying before in aftercare, we haven't had any tuition fees that we've had to worry about. It's time to register her for summer camp. In this area, summer camps are super competitive and so you need to register early. Some of the local camps, the day registration opens, it's full. So you have to be ready. And that is something I did not know going into this budget, but we did have sinking funds for summer camp. So we had money available to us to plan for summer camps. And that was awesome. So we had, I think we had about a thousand dollars in our summer camp fund. I don't have the figure right here. I'm, I'm operating off a piece of paper, not off actual every dollar, but I think we transferred over about a thousand dollars into every dollar from our sinking funds to pay for summer camp. The problem was registration for summer camp was $2,603.95. Whoa. That's a lot of money. But I will tell you that actually was a, a severely discounted price. Apparently at many of the summer camps, if you register at the beginning, you save like 30%, which in our case ended up being over a thousand dollars. And so I was like, uh, yes, please. We ended up having to take $1,400 from it was under 14. It was between 1300 and 1400 in there to cover all of our summer school expenses. And we took that from March's budget. Cause as you know, what we earn in a month goes to pay next month. So we did pay all of that off early. Now, how does this affect us in the long run? It actually is not going to affect us because if you think about it, summer school's already paid for. We've saved a lot of money and we have it now done and paid for, which means in those summer months, we're not going to have to pay before and after care and we're not going to have to pay summer camp. So what we're paying for now, we will make up in June, July, and August, which is pretty awesome. So even though February and March, we are putting less to debt, 
it actually is okay because we will make it up in the summer. And then I also had to register Melina for spring break camp. We decided not to send her to the SAC spring break camp, which would have been paid for in March. So we found another location that has spring break camp. It's actually at an ice skating rink and it actually costs less. And Melina is super excited about going. And that was $285. And SAC spring break camp is actually $400. So this was actually a win for us, even though we had to pay it in February, we will be saving $100 in March. So it's a good thing, but also a surprise. And before you ask, yep, I already put them in the spreadsheet for next year. So this will not come as a surprise next year. In insurance and tax, everything went along swimmingly. There were no surprises in this category. So that was a good thing. We did not pay our tax guy this month because of the summer camp thing, but we will be submitting our taxes at the very beginning of March. So he will have a good six weeks to get them done and out the door on time. So that's gonna be added to the March budget. In the Mauricio and Wendy category, we had nada. In our cash envelopes, we funded those as was expected. We did have money left over and you will see that in my upcoming cash envelope video. In recurring annual fees, there were no surprises. In my YouTube category, everything was the same as it always is, except for the backdrop, which I talked about in my haul video. And medical. Medical is the category that I love to hate. It's wonderful that I have medical insurance. It is horrible that we spend so much on medical. I guess it's a hazard of getting old. I don't know. I get tired of it. My copay at the dentist ended up being $41. Our glasses, as you saw earlier this month, were $590.46. Mauricio had a dermatology bill from last summer that I never received and I got a phone call about it while he was standing at the dermatologist like, why didn't you pay this bill? And I said, because we never got it. So we ended up having to pay that bill this month and that bill was $208.16. Alina had an outstanding bill from the doctor for $5.91. I had an eye doctor follow-up, which was $35, which is my copay. And then my eyeglasses appointment was $177. And then I had eye medication for $91.51. <sighs> that was a lot of money. I wasn't excited about any of that. And I don't know if you remember, but at the beginning of the month, I said, Mauricio shouldn't have any need to pay for parking this month. And lo and behold, those two charges from December that we never got charged for showed up. I don't know what happened. It's weird, but they showed up in February. So we had two payments of $11 and then he it did actually end up having to pay once also. So that was $11 over what we had anticipated. And in our sinking funds category, it was the same $725 that it always is. I will tell you that summer camp this summer has spawned a discussion with Mauricio and I about potentially upping our summer camp sinking fund to $250 every month. And the reason is because we don't wanna be inconvenienced next year when February rolls around. We wanna be able to go ahead and just register Melina for all of the summer camps and go ahead and just pay them in full and get the discount and move on with our lives. So we may be upping that to $250. We're still talking about this because it did happen towards the end of the month and we are, are still debating the pros and cons of it. So I'll keep you updated. In our online category, we did spend 183.12 and that was $33.12 over what we had budgeted. The vast majority of that was the one as tickets that I talked about in the Amazon haul. In our cushion category, we had $96.70. We had originally budgeted $150. So we were under budget in this category and all three expenses were eating out. On one night we went to McDonald's. I had to work very late and Melina, we try and get her in bed by 7.30. I usually get off work around four o'clock, so I have plenty of time if I need to cook, but this particular night I worked until 6.15 
and we wanted to get Melina in bed by 7.30, so I had Mauricio bring her when they picked me up at work, and we went ahead and stopped by McDonald's. And then one night, we had our movie night. It was just Mauricio, Melina, and I, and it was just after Valentine's Day, and Pizza Hut was having these awesome heart-shaped pizzas. It was so cute. So we went ahead and ordered one of those, and of course, when you order from Pizza Hut, you have to get the cinnamon sticks, because they're yummy. That ended up being $37.56. And then Mauricio and I had a evening alone. My parents had gone to a funeral out of town and Melina was spending the night at her aunt and uncle's. And we decided to order takeout and we very rarely do that. So that was a super special treat. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. The food was actually horrible and it was a total waste of money. So did we learn our lesson? I don't know. And this month we put $6,296.16 to debt. I consider that a pretty awesome debt payment. I was super excited considering all that we had going on in the month that we were able to work around that. I was pleased. We aim for $6,000 to $7,000 a month, so we were able to meet that goal. As you can see, we did not make Mike's money challenge of putting the extra money to debt for our frivolous expenses, which would have totaled for us about $275 this month, but we had to make a choice make Mike, Mike's money challenge or pay for summer camp and save well over a thousand dollars. We opted for saving on the summer camp. It did take a lot of discussion, but we decided that was the best decision for our financial futures and it allowed us to get Melina into the summer camp she wanted to be in. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.